I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. This is Stop Drinking Alcohol Week 21. If you'd like to uh, subscribe to the channel, get notifications of upcoming videos, just click on the button over here. On the website this week, I answered four different questions. Uh, the first one was, does AA work? And the answer I came up with was basically, it doesn't work for everyone. It wouldn't work for me. And the only way you're really gonna know is if you um, go to a meeting and try it out for yourself. The main reason it doesn't work for me is because I don't like the, uh, the idea of being called an alcoholic once I've stopped drinking. So that just counts me out. My second question was what counts as a drink? If you're quitting alcohol, it's a fairly simple answer. Anything that's got alcohol in it counts as a drink. If you're trying to moderate your drinking, then basically what you need to do is just go online and find the units of alcohol for your particular drink and moderate it that way. The third question was, are you capable of giving up alcohol? And this is a fairly straightforward one as well. If somebody came up to you and they held a gun to your head, they said, if you had another drop of alcohol, they were going to pull the trigger then you'd give up alcohol, no problem. Anybody is capable of giving up alcohol. It just depends on the level of alcohol that they've been taking beforehand. My fourth question was, what are the signs that alcohol is causing you harm? There's two ways to look at this. You've got the interior signs, the physical and mental signs that it's causing actually to your body or to your mind. And the outside signs, so whether it's affecting your job, your relationships with other people, um, your relationships with your family, that kind of thing. So instead of doing the ups and downs of the week, from now on I'm just going to do life without alcohol. Um, I don't really have many of the ups and downs anymore. It's 21 weeks into uh, quitting drinking. So obviously I'm off drink for 21 weeks. I haven't poisoned myself for 21 weeks. Um, and really I feel great. So there's no point in me saying that every, every week. Um, what I did do this week as I stopped going to uh, my yoga classes, I was really enjoying them, but it was just taking a lot of time out of my out of my day. It took me sort of 15, 20 minutes to get there. And then by the time they warmed up and everything and closed down and I got back, it was sort of three hours every Tuesday morning um, and Thursday morning if I decided to do that. Plus there was a bit of a Spanish issue. During the class I could, I could understand what everyone was saying but afterwards when they were talking and stuff so I need to improve my Spanish a little bit before I go back so I'm going to let this summer go uh, get through the summer and then see how I feel after in the autumn um, I'm still doing it I'm still doing yoga every day I got a DVD and to be honest it's one of the best things that I ever did I feel much more flexible now um, I was starting to think that I was, you know, I was starting to freeze up and my back was hurting. And I know I've abused my body over the years with alcohol, but I also worked in forestry. So I know a lot of guys can relate to this, you know, having worked in uh, manual jobs and it takes its toll. I mean, my knees are sort of, uh, I thought they were shot, but it, it's all to do with flexibility. and. I'm starting to get a bit more flexibility now and feeling that the more I do this, um, the more flexibility I'm going to get. So uh, I am going to keep it up. My tip of the week this week is to look at your future. I know I've said that you can only look at things in the moment, but you also have to plan for your future. You have to look at your future um, as if it's your future self and everything you do now every drink that you put into your body, every piece of shitty junk food that you put into your body is taken away from your future self. You know, you're, you're taken away from your future self just to give yourself a little bit of a uh, pleasure now at the moment. It's also a great idea to plan what you're going to do with your time. Once you give up alcohol, you've got an awful lot of time on your hands that you didn't have before when you were pissing it up. So, Plan out the good things that you want to do. Every one of us is capable of doing great things in our life. I mean, go out there and find out, you know, where are the places you want to go to, where you want to visit, what you want to do with your life, what you want to learn, who you want to meet. All those things, there's loads of possibilities. You really need to fix these things in your mind. We're all capable of greatness. 
just find out what you love to do and go out and do it. So that's Stop Drinking Alcohol Week 21. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions at all, you can leave a comment either on YouTube or head on over to the website and leave a comment in the comment section below the post. Um, my name's Kevin O'Hara. This is Alcohol Mastery. Onwards and upwards.